Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. How y'all doing today? So, check this. I love spaghetti a lot. And so, since we're doing a lot of healthy eating now, we know we're doing stuff to trim these waistlines down so we can see these eggplants, zucchinis. <laughs> you know, you could take, what do you think? That you're gonna take it and then cut it down into some noodles. Anyway, <laughs> so I see the <laughs> I seen a lot of videos of people talking about they made zoodles, but you take some zucchini and you turn them into spaghetti, and it tastes so good, it's so delicious. And I say, you know what? I want to try this motherfucker today. I want to try and see how it really tastes. So the first thing I'm gonna do, come down here. We're gonna make some spaghetti using zucchini. The first thing I'm starting out with is. I got my big on pot, olive oil, and then I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use about this is about a pound, a little of a pound and a half. Man, a half wait, this is a little of a pound and a half of ground turkey. And what I like about turkey meat, you don't have to drain it like ground beef. Now don't trip. Now I ain't too healthy. I might throw me a ground beef up in here too now, but. I'm just gonna stick with this for the day. <laughs> and I'm gonna season it right now. I'm using a whole, look at it. I'm using a whole bunch of stuff to season the hell out of this food. You see what I'm saying? Starting off, garlic powder. I don't measure stuff out, I just get the point. I pull into the slavery. God said, Stop my son. That's enough. Onion powder. Just a tad bit of basil. Black pepper. Mrs. Dash salt free seasoning. Got a lot of herbs and spices in there. A tad bit of Italian seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit of my complete seasoning, just a little. I'm also going to use a little bit of seasoning salt. And a little bit of light salt. This is low sodium stuff. But we want it to be seasoned real good. And plus we're not using regular noodles. So we got to put a little more extra seasoning for the damn zucchini. So I'm going to let this do what it do. Y'all, if y'all just watch Rashad... <laughs> Cheesecake. I didn't do a taste test on the video. Put it up there. This is good. Swerve sugar. I can't believe I've been missing out. I don't think we're gonna buy record sugar no time soon. Anyway, zucchini. Zucchini is a squash. So I'm just gonna take some vinegar. And wash it off. All right, so I'm just gonna cut one end on my zucchini. That end, place it right here. Now look, y'all. I went online. I bought me a mandarin. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna use to make my zoodles with. They what they call them zoodles. They don't call them zucchini noodles. Now this is my first time using this. I might fuck up some. So they say you take this, I might need to cut the bottom off this. And stick that in like that. So they say you use the little glove. <laughs> so you wanna cut your damn hand, you know. <laughs> uh oh. Look at that. Get down in that hole. Look at that hole. So this is how it look when you insert. <laughs> yeah, you twist. I can't use it. I need to get it down like this. 
Oh my God, this hurt. <laughs> this feel painful. And just twist it like that. And you wear, make sure you wear your gloves so you don't cut your damn hands off. And I only bought two zucchini. Because like I said, this is my first time trying this. And if it's nasty, I don't want to be having to eat a lot of old damn bugs yet. I know I don't. That arm tied? Hell yeah, my arm tied. And you take a little top like that and twist it. Well, look at that shit there. And this is how they look. The zoodles. So I'm gonna do the second and then see the core right here. And see, you don't want that core part right there. You don't want that core part, so I can throw that away. And so I'm gonna do the second one. Yeah, like a pencil. Hey, look, folks, so this is my meat completely done. That's not grease. That's that olive oil and a little water the meat. And so I don't have to drain this. Smell good. Now, now into this, I wanna add one tablespoon of beef bouillon flavor. <laughs> this is gonna get that illusion like this ground beef. And I'm also gonna add a bouillon cube just for a little more flavor. Flavor. Somebody on, actually somebody on YouTube told me about uh, bouillon cubes in Turkey because I never heard about bouillon, I can't say it, bouillon cubes in Turkey. And see this get that ground beef flavor. Whoever told me this, shout out to you. Now, I'm also finna add, oh shit, use your favorite marinara sauce, my favorite tomato sauce. I will gonna make some tomato sauce, but mm, I think the Kroger tomato sauce it tastes the absolute best. So I'm gonna use some marinara and a little chunky or uh, green pepper and mushroom. And get it a stir. And yeah, I'm gonna need some more. <laughs> I like my I like my spaghetti and pizza and everything to be a whole lot of sauce. I ain't trying to say shit. I'm using the whole jar. I like it soaking wet. <laughs> and so I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. I have for some my stuff is simmering for five minutes. That's how I look. Sit your ass over there. So these are the zoodles, the zucchini. So you just take them and just mix them in. That's bad. This was just two zucchini. I didn't expect it to be that much. I should've just made one. So I'm gonna incorporate this in like this. Now it smell good as hell. <laughs> I don't know how it tastes, <laughs> but it smells good as hell. Now to this, I'm gonna add a couple more things. I'm adding some tomatoes of mine. I love tomatoes. And for a little more extra flavor, I'm gonna add a bag, four ounce bag of pepperoni. And some parsley. I'll say about a table, a teaspoon. All the seasoning I add been about a teaspoon. And y'all know some people add sugar to their little spaghetti. So I'ma add <laughs> this word is off the chain, y'all. This is my I'm advertised for these bit for free. I shouldn't do this. But I'm add about a half a teaspoon of swear. Well, probably a teaspoon. Um some people. Some people, well, two teaspoons. Some people add spaghetti to their spaghetti, add sugar to their spaghetti to kill the acidity off of the tomatoes. So I'm gonna let this simmer for. Normally they say with the zucchini, you let it go for about four minutes for al dente. But if you know Jeremy, I don't like no motherfucking al dente. I like my stuff to cook all the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this simmer for about. Four, about, I'll say about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to check on it periodically. I ain't going to let it get too mush, but I'm going to let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to be back. Alright, hood folks, so damn, that's hot. 
this is it. <laughs> I let it go for about nine minutes. And my, my zoodles, <laughs> they are definitely tender. So I'm going to fix up a... Damn, it smell. I ain't going to lie, this smell good as hell. I just hope it tastes good. Because if it's nasty, it's going to be a long week of eating this bullshit. <laughs> All right, let me get a little plate of it. Oh, what happened to presentation? <laughs> How they look? I look good. I'm gonna take it out the heat. All right, here folks, so here go my spaghetti made with zucchini, zoodles. Let's give it a try. It look like spaghetti, don't it? Yep. And I'm a love, I love green vegetables. I ain't gonna get too much of it. Get some of that meat, that pepper on. What my damn tomato? There go my tomato. So I got a mouthful. Damn, this hot. You know I love, I love to see PB spaghetti when they do this right here. What I'm finna do? Suck it up. <laughs> Do it again. Put my hands in my pocket. Shake my chain. First of all, this do not taste nothing like spaghetti. I don't get no spaghetti feel, no spaghetti nothing, no spaghetti nothing. That's number one. Number two, this is good as fuck. <laughs> this is good. Why the hell I ain't been making zoodles for a long time? If you like vegetables, you gonna like this. Now if you kind of person that don't like vegetables, like, oh it's hard to eat vegetables, this may not be your thing. But this is good. That's all that flavor I did. You can't even tell this is turkey meat. This tastes real beefy. Them zoodles, they taste like, kind of like a little bit of onion, a little bit of squash. They taste like vegetables. They tender, just like I like them. They're not al dente, not that way. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's two for two today, y'all. Two for two, taste them. Hey, you want to taste it too? Yeah, because me, I, I hate squash, so and I really don't like zucchini. So, um, we about to try this. Get everything, some, some them pepperoni, them pepperoni sitting it off too, y'all, no lie. And it ain't too salty, seasoned perfectly. Now, tell me what you think, though. Come on, man. Be honest, man. We don't lie to our hood, folk. We speak fact. Okay, this has changed my whole feel about zucchini. This is good. I know. I can't really taste that squash taste like I normally do when I eat squash or if I eat those uh, um, zucchini uh, chips you made. I don't taste it. And then the seasoning is good and don't taste like turkey. And then a the tomato, and the, uh, the spaghetti sauce, and the pepperoni just set it off. I but know. I ain't gonna lie, it's good. I will be making this again. I might run to the store and get me one more zucchini and put in there. I probably want, I do want a little bit more zucchini, but even if I just stay right there, this is really good. And this is healthy. I'm telling you, I'm gonna live to see 175 years old. They gonna be like, damn, Jeremy is Moses, little brother. <laughs> I hope folks, look at this motherfucker, still eat. I hope folks, so we hope you enjoyed both our videos today. We fit, we didn't literally destroy, destroy this goddamn cheesecake still eating on that. And that right there banging like a mug. That's all we got to say? That's it. I hope folks. <laughs>
Peace. Don't give, give me all. Eat no more of my shit, now, boy. No, eat no more. Cut it off. Stop. Stop.